All right, guys, this is going to be my first video ever with this fancy smancy visualizer that I'm using. So I'm just going to be doing a simple cross product. This is what we've been started learning about in class. And so when we do a cross product, we just use the formula in our IB booklet. This is from the perspective of IB, which means that we know nothing about matrices. And if we know nothing about matrices, then basically the only way we can do this is using the formula that's given to us. We recognize that there are other things that we know with relationship to the angles. We talked about that in class, um, but we're not going to worry about that right now because I have two column vectors. You can see that right here, and I'm going to be finding the V cross W. So in order to do that, you'll notice that it's just multiplying and subtracting to get pieces. Now we talked about in class how the X value comes from the Y and Z, 2 and 3, of V and W. So it's just like this. So we'll say this is equal to, so it'll be V2 times W3. So V2 is the second value in your V vector. So negative 1 times W3, so the third value there minus, note that it's a subtraction, V3 times W2. So V3 is 1, and then W2, which is 2. All right, now hopefully you recognize that this is just a cross. It's negative 1 times 5, and then it's 1 times 2. So the 1 here going down from V to W is the one that comes before the minus sign, and then 1 going up from left to right is the one that's on the right hand side. Okay, now you'll notice it was the y and z components that give us the x component. You'll see the same thing on the next two. Okay, so next we have v3 and w1. All right, so v3 would be 1 times w1, which would be 1. And then minus v1, which was 2, times w3, which was Five. Now the same pattern happens. It would go from one down, since I don't have anything there, then I just copy the matrix over again, the vector over again, so you'll see it's from one to one down. And then the other one was two, five, because that was from two up to five. And again, I'm not using the y values, okay? So don't worry about the crossing if that doesn't make any sense. You don't have to use that. I'm just doing that because someday some of you will do, vec uh, will do matrices and you'll see that crossing pattern happen. Okay, next we're going to move on to the z value, which would be v1 times w2 minus v2, which is negative 1, times w1, which is 1. And again, you'll notice it's that same kind of crossing pattern, v1, w2, and then v2 times w1 right there. Okay, so we put all these together. I do negative 1 times 5 would be negative 5 minus 2. I get 1, uh, 1 minus 10, and I get 4 plus 1. So my final vector will be negative 7, negative 9, and 5. There you go. We've done the cross product. Okay, now... Uh, go on to the next video and I'll explain maybe why we would even care.